Come on, let's get it. Recruiting news and interviews, just sit back and watch this Recruiting news and interviews, just sit back and watch this The process Welcome into the process, Crimson Tide Recruiting. I am Justin Smith, the lead scouting and recruiting analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this edition of the process. Alabama is gearing up to hit the road to travel to Mississippi State, which means they will not host any recruits on this particular weekend. But the recruiting news never stop as Alabama's 2020 recruiting class is trying to finish strong so in this edition of the process i wanted to take a look at alabama's 2020 recruiting class currently and break down where it stands and break down some of their targets moving forward and just look at this 2020 recruiting class as a whole just looking at it from the outside looking in but before i get to that i want to hit you guys with some recruitment updates alabama did make the top 12 for the for a 2021 five-star defensive tackle out of eight mile alabama and lee hunter who plays for blunt high school i feel that alabama will continue to look for defense alignment in the 2021 recruiting class so lee hunter is definitely I got to know Alabama also made the top eight for Munkel Goodwine, a four-star defensive lineman out of Maryland who Alabama really likes. They got him on campus during the summer. He, he, he expressed to me that he was definitely excited to get down to Tuscaloosa. He was expected to visit Alabama during LSU weekend, but he did not make it. But the last time he was on the University of Alabama's campus, he had a really good time. And I feel that Alabama is in a good position with good Good wine, especially with the way they have recruited the DMV area over the last couple of recruiting cycles. But to get this show started today, I do have a recruiting question. I am going to get to that to get this particular show started. So with that being said, let's get the process started. We're going to go to our question now from Steve from North Carolina. Remember, guys, you guys can call into the process and leave your recruiting question at 205 205- Four four zero three nine six eight. Leave your recruiting question via voicemail and enter for a chance to win a Bama Fever gift card. Bama Fever sells all of the top Alabama athletic apparel, so don't forget to call in and leave your recruiting questions. But for now, we're gonna go to Steve for his particular question. You can go along with your question now, Steve. Hey, Justin, this is Steve from North Carolina. Huge Bama fan. Just thinking about. LSU claiming their DBU and everything. We got some pretty good DBs ourselves. Just thinking about recruiting here. Uh, I know we've got some good folks already committed, but uh, wondering how Nadab Joseph is doing. I heard he needed to straighten out some academic things. Didn't know if you knew anything about a timeline with him. And Kelly Ringo, I believe, is the number one rated cornerback, and he had mentioned Alabama as part of his top five, I believe, back in June, but I don't seem to hear anything about him. Didn't know if you knew anything about it. We were still really trying to reach out to him. Thanks a lot. You're doing a great job. Well, to answer the first part of your question, Steve, I think that Alabama is in a good position with Nadab Joseph. If I had to make a prediction, if he was to announce his commitment today, I would say it will it will be Alabama. But when you look at a guy who's currently attending a junior college in Independence Community College in Kansas, it is difficult for at times for guys to get through that particular year, their particular years at a junior college, trying to get their academic situation together. I'm, I do believe he's trying to push and definitely get to the next level especially with the way his recruitment has gone up and down throughout it i think the alabama is in a good position with him i feel that they should land him if his academics are set and are in order by the time they want to sign him and want to bring him bring him in to be part of their 2020 recruiting class as far as kelly ringo he has not visited alabama this summer for a game visit and alabama only has one 
home game left, so I doubt if they'll get him on campus for a game visit. Oregon hosted him for an official visit. Georgia has hosted him recently also. I think Georgia is in the driver's seat when you look at his particular recruitment. I think that they are, they are the favorite at the moment. Alabama could work their way in, but I think their defensive back class is sitting pretty good at the moment. But I do feel Georgia and Oregon are right there as far as Kelly Ringo is concerned. Alabama's 2020 recruiting class currently stands at 24 verbal commits with the recruits they have currently committed. And when you take a look at this particular recruiting class, if you were to look at a list of their current commits, it will give you a good look at how this class will possibly finish. I think Alabama will, will add on four or five more guys to complete this class. I want to add on about three to four or five more guys to complete this class. But this class is pretty much finished when you look at the fact they do have 24 verbal commits and a couple of those guys have shut down their recruitment 100% as the early signing period gets closer and closer to us, which is in December. Alabama wants to sign as many guys during the early signing period, which they did in the last recruiting cycle, trying to not repeat the mistake that they made in the 2018 recruiting cycle by not locking down as many guys as they should probably have had probably have done in that 2018 recruiting class so they're going to try to lock down as many commits as possible in the early signing period in the 2020 recruiting cycle but when you look at this particular recruiting class Alabama has commitment from a quarterback a trio of wide receivers two running backs two offensive alignment at the moment commitments from a, a couple of linebackers a trio of defensive backs at the moment a um Two athletes, two recruits that are listed as athletes on most recruiting sites, a good number of defense alignments. So I think Alabama's filled this recruiter, this particular recruiting class out pretty well at the moment. I know they wanted to add on wide receivers in this particular class due to the fact that Henry Ruggs, Devontae Smith, and Jerry Judy could possibly go on to the next level. And looking at the way those three guys have played in this particular season, I would say it's undoubtedly that those guys will move on because they have made a statement during this particular season and have shown that they are ready to go on to the next level if they were to decide to make that decision at the end of this particular season. So I think Alabama has done a good job at the moment by lending guys like Trisha and Holden, Dye Jones Bell, Javon Beck. I think those guys are a nice trio for Alabama at the moment, but they are going to add on another wide receiver in my mind or they would minding would not mind adding on another wide receiver to this particular recruiting class. And I think they have a lot of options on the board when you look at the fact that four-star wide receiver Desalian Worsham, who was once verbally committed to Alabama, has visited Alabama a couple of times this season, is still on the board. Four-star wide receiver Arian Smith, who Alabama just took just got an official visit from during the Alabama LSU game, he's still on the board. Also, they're going to continue to recruit Keshawn Booty and Raheem Jarrett, guys who are currently verbally committed to LSU. So I think the wide receiver position is a position that's wide open for the tie, but I feel they have done a good job in at that particular position at the moment. At the running back position, they have commitments from two four-star running backs in Wardell Williams and Kyle Edwards. I think those guys are two huge pickups for the tie, but Alabama will not mind adding on another running back in my mind this particular 2020 recruiting class because they have continued to recruit five-star running back Zachary Evans, and they also have continued to recruit a four-star running back out of a four-star running back that's verbally committed to Georgia Tech and Jameer Gibbs, and Gibbs got his offer from the tie when Alabama already had verbal commitments from Kyle Edwards and Rodell Williams. So they're going to continue to look at Jameer Gibbs possibly in the future to add on to their running back class in 2020 recruiting class and possibly flip him from Georgia Tech. So Alabama's running back class may not be finished, but I do think Rodell Williams and Kyle Edwards are some nice pickups. And I think Alabama will be happy with just handing those two guys. I think they're in a good position by having those two guys verbally committed to them at the moment. I think they got a huge pickup and five-star quarterback Bryce Young. I don't think he was a prior. Already, as far as Alabama, definitely need a quarterback. Needed a quarterback in this particular class, but when, when you got a guy like Bryce Young and you have a chance to get him, you definitely want to get him because he's a special talent. He looks very good, a very athletic kid, and you definitely want to add him to your 2020 recruiting class if you got the opportunity. And Alabama went out and got him, especially with the fact that he had a great relationship with Steve Sarkeesian dating back to his middle school days. 
Alabama does have a commitment from a tight end in the 2020 recruiting class and Caden Clark, although they are recruiting other tight ends, especially five-star tight end Darnell Washington. Clark is a pretty good tight end too, although he does get looked over when you look at the special tight ends that are in this particular class. We have guys like Darnell Washington and Arik Gilbert, but Clark is a pretty nice tight end, a guy who can line out wide, and Alabama is lucky to have him, and Alabama is grateful to have him as Jeff Banks sat down with him before he made his commitment to Alabama and basically broke down how they plan to use the tight end in the future, and that's one of the reasons he committed to Alabama, so he's a good pickup for the tie, but they possibly want to add on another tight end if they can. If They may they may not land Arnell Washington, and if they don't land Washington or possibly flip Gilbert, which I don't think will happen, they can can go the Juco route and possibly land a tight end in that particular way. At the offensive line position, Alabama do have two offensive linemen committed in Seth McLaughlin and Damian George, but they are currently recruiting other guys. I think they want another I think they want to add another offensive lineman in this class. They are looking at guys like Brady Ward, a three-star offensive lineman out of Mobile, Alabama, RJ Adams, uh, another offensive lineman in the 2020 recruiting class out of Virginia, and Javion Cohen, a four-star offensive lineman out of Central Phoenix City High School in Phoenix City, Alabama, who is currently verbally committed to Auburn, but he's still taking a good look at Alabama. He's planning an official visit to Alabama, and he also plans to unofficially visit one more time before he takes an official visit to Alabama. So he's going to take a good look at the tie before he makes his make his official um, decision and, and sign up and sign with the team of his particular choice. When you look at Alabama's defensive defensive commits in the 2020 recruiting class, at the defensive back position, I think they're pretty solid at the moment. They will like to add on their depth, Joseph. I think they're in a good position with Tim. But when you look at this group, I think this group really fills out pretty well with guys like Jacquez, Robinson, Malachi, more and possibly Christian Story, who will most likely line up a defensive back at the next level. Brian Branch is a special talent, so I think Alabama is pretty good at defensive back position. They would like to add on Nadab Joseph, possibly if they can get his commitment and if his academics stack up right, he'll be a good, nice addition to this particular defensive back group. When you go, when you go to Alabama's linebacker group, I think they have. Um, cleaned up pretty well with commitments from guys like Demoy Kennedy, a guy who can attack the ball pretty fast, with another commitment from another outside linebacker in Point Darius Robinson out Jackson Hole, Jackson Nolan High School in Birmingham, Alabama, a lengthy kid who can stand on and add on some more muscle, but he has a fast jump off the line, especially rushing from the outside, which is something I think he will have to have the opportunity to do at the next level, especially with Alabama losing Anthony Jennings and Terrell Lewis at the end of the season. They also have a commitment from a guy who's listening as an athlete in and Drew Sanders, a five-star athlete who could possibly fit that mold at the outside linebacker position for Alabama, a very talented kid who can be used at a multitude of positions, especially especially even on the offensive side of the ball. This is a guy who could possibly play tight end for Alabama at some particular time in the future. So Drew Sanders is a guy to look out for, in my mind, on both sides of the ball in terms of Alabama's 2020 recruiting class at the moment. They also have a commitment from Chris Broswell, a five-star defensive end who's a special kid. I I think he has a very long frame. One, th one of the things I really like about him is the fact that he could actually guard the flat from the outside linebacker position. He could stand up and basically play a little pass pass defense and not really look out of place. I really think like that about Chris Broswell. He's another one Alabama commits. They round out this class with guys like William Anderson, Jamirian Latham, Jameer Burroughs, and also they have a commitment from Timothy Smith for, in terms of defensive tackle. So I think Alabama is pretty much done with the defensive tackle group as, as pretty much as much as they're done with the 2020 recruiting class, they're going to recruit guys like McKinney Jackson to finish off this class as far as the linebacker position moving forward. They're going to continue to recruit guys like Phillip Webb, a guy to look out for, Noah Sewell, a five-star linebacker who had Alabama his top school list earlier in the summer. So he's a guy to look out for in terms of Alabama in the linebacker position. So that's why I wanted to do take a quick breakdown of Alabama's 2020 recruiting class.
that will do it for this edition of the process thank you guys so much for joining me today on the process be sure to subscribe to touchdown alabama's youtube page and stay updated with alabama football and alabama football recruiting download the touchdown alabama app to stay informed also also pick up a subscription to touchdownalabama.com as always i am justin smith the scouting and recruiting analyst for touchdown alabama magazine and watch the process